Hi, my name is Thomas Cherian. I am a specialist in liver disease. Uh, more specifically, I'm a liver transplant surgeon. Uh, I trained in UK uh, and worked in London for nearly 17 years in King's College Hospital. King's or King's College, as it is called, is possibly one of the biggest liver centers in the world. We used to do about 200 to 220 liver transplants every year in London. And then I decided to move back to our country about seven years ago. Since moving back to Hyderabad, I was the national director for liver transplantation and liver surgery at CARE group of hospitals. And then I started a, a liver dedicated liver hospital called South Asian Liver Institute and uh, we try to provide a very holistic care for all patients with liver disease and try to prevent liver disease uh, so that it doesn't reach a stage of liver failure. So when uh, doctor's advice asked me what would you like to talk about uh, today I thought we should talk about something that's very very common viral hepatitis which is hepatitis A, B, C and E commonly. Uh, I don't know how many of you know but out of roughly 400 million people with hepatitis B in the world 100 million are in India alone. So we as one country hold 25% of the world's burden of hepatitis B. Similarly, uh, you would be amazed to know that there are ne nearly 70 to 80 million people with uh, hepatitis C in our, our country, which is more than the population of France and uh, Germany put together maybe, you know. <laughs> so we do have a huge disease burden. Of course, hepatitis A and E uh, causes liver disease and jaundice very very frequently many of us have suffered jaundice most of us have had those episodes of one or two weeks of jaundice is because of hepatitis A or E which is spread via food and contaminated water whereas hepatitis B and C is blood spread so unless there is contact with the blood that uh, spread of diseases do not happen that may be through an infected blade during shaving or it may be through an infected needle where the needles have been shared between two people which in this day and age should never happen. So uh, one of the uh, sad uh, truths about hepatitis B especially is that for nearly more than 15 years or so we have had very effective vaccines for hepatitis B and to its credit the government of India started vaccination in 2008 uh, or maybe 2007 in India so the children born after that are vaccinated but the problem is for all the people born before that who do not uh, sort of automatically get the vaccine do need to go to hospitals and get themselves vaccinated. Even the children born, let's say, for example, 2005, may have slipped through the net and not got their vaccines. So the next question is, what is the symptoms? How do I know that I've got viral hepatitis? Well, the commonest symptom of viral hepatitis is a slight feeling like a flu-like illness along with jaundice. Sometimes jaundice is mild and especially people like us, we have dark skin and therefore we can't tell whether somebody is jaundice. In other words, yellow or not. Sometimes if you look closely, the white of our eyes could become yellow. And so that along with a little flu-like illness is the commonest initial symptom of acute hepatitis due to any of these uh, viruses. Slowly, uh, in hepatitis A and E, 
99 or 95 percent of people just get better after two weeks the body looks after it itself and they get better and you don't have any symptoms and you don't need any treatment whereas hepatitis b and c they often are controlled by the body but occasionally they slip through the immunity of the body and start causing what is known as chronic hepatitis so what they do is every day they start destroying some liver cells and every day that the liver is slowly deteriorating now unfortunately what people uh, don't know is that if even at that stage they take the correct medications those viruses can be kept under control but unfortunately at this time many of the patients who do have chronic hepatitis do not have symptoms and it is only on blood tests that sometimes these diseases are diagnosed so my strong advice to you is if you have had jaundice if you have had a viral illness where you have felt unwell do get your blood tests done maybe one month later and two months later to make sure your liver has stayed safe simple liver function tests will do if you can add on an ultrasound that makes it even better and if all of that is normal you can think that there is no problem things are settling down of course you can also test yourself for hepatitis b and c using serological tests looking for antigens in the blood but that is a separate and a slightly more expensive test but if you do have jaundice there is no doubt that you must get those tests and if you are positive start treatment the beauty of viral hepatitis is that there is very effective treatments now until about 3 or 4 years ago there wasn't perfect uh, treatment for hepatitis c but in the last 2 to 3 years there's been great advances in this treatment and now just a 3 month course of simple tablets with minimal side effects is enough to cure you of hepatitis c therefore the diagnosis is the key now unfortunately as a liver transplant surgeon i often see patients with liver failure and and due to the lack of awareness of what we have discussed over the last 10 minutes many people have gone on to develop liver failure because of hepatitis b and c and unfortunately once the liver has got spoiled to the stage where they are having liver failure then medications do not do much to help at that stage unfortunately we might have to do a liver transplant to uh, to resolve uh, the the person's the patient's symptoms or improve his survival at uh, south asian liver institute we are quite happy to see patients with previous reports uh, to discuss at what stage they are at and what we can do about it you don't need to repeat those investigations unless it's been a long uh, time ago mm-hmm. we can still talk about what is the right uh, treatment for whatever stage you are at at that particular time and hopefully prevent you from getting into a chronic liver disease cirrhotic stage where surgery is the only option we'll be covering uh, all topics which commonly affect patients on a day to day basis for more this type of doctor advices or opinion or any other things like ic doctors advice channel like cheyandi comment cheyandi share cheyandi subscribe to this channel doctors advice 10 mandi ki upayogapade laga chudandi thank you so much